A person can only change if they truly want to. There is a saying, habit is a second nature. What does that mean? First and foremost, we love our habits so much that we do not want to give them up. We fight for our habits. We cannot live without them. We would rather die than give up some of our weaknesses, that is habits. As soon as someone questions one of our habits, we react immediately, protest, lose our inner peace. Not because we cannot change, but because we are passionately attached to our habits and do not want to change. But God gives a new heart. God gives new life to our mind and heart, to our inner being. In God, we are renewed daily. This means that a person is capable of changing for the better, from a bad spiritual state. It just needs to come from the depths of the heart, and therefore make an effort. Why is it so difficult to change our habits, especially spiritual ones? Because we weave them into our soul. Habits are intertwined with our soul, and it is very difficult to wash them away and remove them from the soul. It requires a tremendous and prolonged effort aligning our will with God's will. And since from personal experience we know that it is very difficult to change our habits, then in dealing with others, let us be extremely cautious and never want to change others, but strive to change ourselves first. The ascetic life is nothing but uprooting from our soul bad habits that have taken root in us due to a sinful way of life, and rooting good and pleasing habits, primarily the habits of humility, patience, and the acquisition of virtue. Lessons from today's Greek spiritual fathers for each day of the year.